Guys, welcome to Better Bachelor. This is Joker with a face for radio and a voice for print. As you notice, I haven't put out a video for the last couple of days. I've taken some time off to continue working on my bus. If I remember, I will put a graphic next to me of my bathroom that I just finished. I put in some plexi fiber walls and I've done the wood trim and poured an epoxy floor. And now I've just got to finish cutting in the drain, which I actually have done. You don't see it in this video. I finished cutting in the drain. And so my bathroom is pretty much done except for bolting in my compost toilet. Uh, and I've also taken off time to look at the, uh, the Republican and the Democratic National Conventions. And I want to watch them in their whole, in their entirety. And nothing has changed. I still know which way I'm going to vote. And then I've been watching what's been going on in Kenosha um, on Twitter. They post like legit live streams of what is going on there and that versus what i see in the news media are completely different and it makes me angry and then i just want to shut down my computer and not do any videos for the day and then um and then from there i'm like um, i'm done for the night <laughs> and, and so i don't do my videos so uh I'll, let me get caught up here though uh, we got a story here from the guardian which has actually been picked up by a couple other news sources and it's about you know, men who have decided to become bachelors to do their own thing and the rise of a toxic male separatist movement. Now, what I find interesting is that you've got different ranges of um, women's support or feminism. You've got women that are very all men bad. And then you've got some that are like, no, I legit want guys and women to be equal. And so that's kind of the side I support. And they don't lump them into all into one pool. But here, this writer does try to lump them into all into one pool, and I think that's very disingenuous because some of you guys are really angry. I know this. Many of you guys say, hey, problems started when women got the vote. I know this too. And then there's other guys out there that are like, hey, I've been married for 20 years and everything's good, but I've seen what this has done to society. So there's a lot of different takes you can kind of view uh, being a bachelor, doing your own thing from, but we get lumped all into one. So let's read the story. And there's some good points that she makes. And there's some negative points that she makes. And so we're going to talk about this and correct it. So they say, uh, the men of the guys going their own way. And of course, I have to change words because YouTube. Uh, the men of guys going their own way movement aim to their lives or aim to live their lives with no female contact. That's really not correct. The idea began on the fringes of the Internet. So how's it made it all the way to the White House, which is also incorrect. Um, no female contact. Some guys, yes, they go complete monk and uh, they minimize their interactions. But you still usually have to interact with women at the grocery store and at work. And so they try to minimize that or minimize the interactions with them. So Laura Bates, this is from uh, just a day ago. There's been an awakening changing in the world one man at a time. And these dramatic words that appear when you visit mgtow.com in a video look uh, that looks a lot like an action movie trailer. The words are soon followed by five more that appear to smash through the screen, smoldering, fiery red. Guys going their own way. If you stumbled across the website and never heard of this before, you would probably assume this was a tiny extreme movement, but you would only be half right. Actually, I'd say you're completely right. It's not tiny and it's not extreme. It's very much growing and it's also just kind of a philosophy it's not a movement too many times people say oh well this is a movement this is a movement it's not a movement it's just a philosophy now some guys some guys might say well yeah but the way you talk about it and the way you push the ideas forward is kind of a movement but a movement really to me at least makes it sound like you're trying to change the world most of us aren't really trying to change anything we're just trying to survive it and understand it and navigate through it the views of uh, guys going their own way is indeed un or unorthodox, even with within the sprawling web of groups, lifestyles, and cults known as the Manosphere, where women haters, not all of them, mobilize against supposed uh, gynocratic conspiracy, while incels plot revenge on women, again, not all of them, maybe a few, and pickup artists deploy predatory tactics to game women into being intimate with them. What's predatory? playing mind games with them and finding out how they tick and then hoping to circumnavigate that? Is that predatory? Then if that is, 
then wouldn't it be the same that women that go after unattractive wealthy men and try to trick them to spend their money on the women and the women promise things that they may or may not do, wouldn't that also be predatory? I think so. Um, uh, the men of the guys go in their own way attempt to eschew relationships with women altogether. Uh, no, not really. They're again, different stages. They are literally going their own way, far, far away from women at all. Though some guys going their own way maintain platonic relationships with women and others have one night stands to visit uh, uh, professional workers, many prefer to abstain from intimacy, a process referred to as going monk. This is too much for some members of the wider manosphere. The blogger Matt Forney, notorious for posts such as why fat girls don't need, deserve to be loved and the necessity of, of uh, harm in the home, write that men going their own way is no way for men to go and mocked guys going their own ways as a cult for lonely virgins. So the sentence before she says this, it's an issue uh, to relationships and to stay away from them altogether. And then below that, she describes how there's a bunch of differences in the community. Great germinal journalism. Bravo. Uh, but this is an obscure internet cul-de-sac. Uh, the MGTOW.com alone has almost 33,000 members. Its forums for men only contain conversations on more than 50,000 topics with more than 790,000 replies, which range from advice on divorcing as cheaply as possible. I think that's fine. To lurid stories about women who have found particularly inventive ways to end their husbands. Again, interesting. The site also lists 25 video channels between them. These have more than 730,000 followers and their videos have been viewed a total of 130 million times. Now there's also uh, MGTOW on Reddit that at one point had 130,000 members before Reddit decided to close them. There were also incel forums that Reddit also decided to close them. Um, of, of YouTubers here as well. This is not a tiny community. There are millions of guys in these communities. And so it's not fringe anymore. And I think this is coming to light now because people are starting, I still say people are noticing the effects of this. Over on YouTube, here we go, one of the best known MGTOW vloggers who goes by the name of Sandman has racked up more than 90 million views on videos with titles ranging from Smart Men Don't Get Married, again, uh, criticize her and she will destroy your career, which, yeah, that can happen. And they actually talk about that later in this video. The philosophy, now see, she's calling it a philosophy now, which is correct. She should have called, called it a philosophy up above. Is elaborately laid out on the website, which summarizes, that, summarizes it as a statement of self-ownership where the modern man preserves and protects his own sovereignty above all else. Drawing on snippets of quotes and newspaper clippings, the site claims that uh, Guys Going Their Own Way dates back to great men, including Schopenhauer, Beethoven, Galileo, and even Jesus Christ. I might add on top of that, uh, someone like Nikola Tesla. Women are essentially portrayed as parasites riding on the coattails of men who have throughout history been responsible for far greater miracles of science, discovery, and human endeavor. By shaking women off, it is explained men will be free to pursue their even higher achievements. I'm still not hearing a negative here. They're really not crapping on women. They're just saying, I mean, if you look at history, you look at the inventors, you look at the creators, mostly they're men. So how is this? I still don't hear the negative yet. I love this. I feel like I found the secret to it. the universe. A user comments in their testimonial section. Another writes that his city has become so ultra feminized that there are mind-blowingly bad uh, that things are mind-blowingly bad for men here, especially straight white men. Guys going their own way are unlikely to meet in person, instead sharing their techniques, successes, and failures online. Throughout the manosphere, it is common to see members expressing paranoia about normies who could be out to expose them, often leading to forum users' accounts, each other's of being moles or spies. Nowhere is this fear more prevalent than among the guys going on there go in among there guys going the own way with any suggestion of meeting in real life usually receiving a swift and scornful rebuttal um here's why most guys don't want to meet up in real life nor give their real names and information out because people like this will come after them what if sandman instead of using his name sandman had bob smith and somebody decided to do some digging and they found out hey this is bob smith from kenosha falls so, you know, this is, this is one of the real good reasons why 
we don't use our real information because we're not given a fair shake. You can't be a, you know, women can go out there and denounce men and be lauded and applauded for it. But when guys start speaking out for men's issues, even if a guy doesn't put down a woman, they just say, I care about men's issues, somehow they're misogynist. And this is not an accurate take on it. So yes, men have to do this because otherwise they might be outed and they might lose their careers. Uh, she says, once you have taken the red pill, i.e. opened your eyes to the reality that as a man, the whole world is stacked against you. That is not true. That is not what they state. There are four main levels of guys going their own way, according to many websites, which is still crap. Remember, it's a philosophy. Level one involves rejecting long-term relationships, while level two extends to the short-term relationships. Level three requires an uh, economic disengagement. And, uh, as well, and the level... Um, where's level four? Oh, level four is described as social rejection. They drop out of society altogether. Uh, for all intents and purposes, um, it does not exist, or he does not exist. An urbanite might keep his to his own apartment, while someone further out may simply head into the wilderness and go off grid. Those who achieve this ultimate isolation are known as ghosts and treated as legends within the community. Okay. If, if any of this is real, let me know, because this seems to go down a rabbit hole that I've never heard about anymore. Uh, uh, I've never heard about before. As far as I've known, guys going their own way is, hey, we each do our own thing. We're doing what's best for ourselves. and uh, But we do say that you need to keep to your own self-sovereignty. In other words, don't get caught up in marriage and courts. Don't get up uh, don't don't get caught up with caught up with child custody and courts. Don't get caught up in cohabitating and courts. Do you see what's similar in all of that? The government. That's usually where guys get raked over the coals. And also false accusations and courts. So this is us looking out for that. I don't know of levels. If levels are, then I guess I'm maybe three. And once my bus is ready, maybe I'll become a ghost, and I'll be the legendary ghost Joker. <laughs> <laughs> Shara also went on to cite a list of concerns that would resonate particularly closely with the MRA or men's rights activists, including men are supposed to pay for dates and bow down to women. Anything less than worship is hate. That's kind of a common theme. How dare you? How dare you say I should pay for my own meal? You should treat me as a queen. And yes, I make more than you, but you should still treat me well because I am the prize. I mean, this is a true thing. I mean, we hear this. And he also says, when it comes to marriage, the system is so stacked against men, it does not make sense. Um, both guys going their own way in MRAs uh, alike see divorce as simply, uh, as deeply one-sided, allowing women to rob innocent men of money, uh, property, and in some cases, children. We're not saying rob innocent men, but we are saying um, we're not getting a fair shake out of the deal. So maybe it is robbing innocent men. I don't know. It is one imagines... It is, one imagines, very difficult for a man to release himself completely from the toxic impact of women while entangled within a community feverishly obsessed with, well, women. This was apparent even to the teenage Shrat, who says, I understand the skepticism of marriage and stuff, but for men who were talking about trying to live lives that didn't uh, center around women, they were talking about them an awful lot. When he tried to voice his disagreements with various elements of the MGTOW ideology, he was accused of being mind-controlled by a girl. <laughs> Maybe. Soon afterwards, he left the community having met a girl who, rather surprisingly, shared his criticisms. So, I guess the joke's on them, he muses. I'd like to know how, how his relationship turns out. Um, yeah, there are a lot of guys that will speak ill. And, you know, there were some on, on my channel, and some of you may still be here. I'm fine if you have opposing views. If some guys say, look, I just don't like women. I want to avoid them. Or deep down, I, I very much hate them. Like, if that's your view on it, okay, great. But for other people, there's not the same view. And you either need to, you either get split off into all these little bubbles of, well, I hate them a lot. Well, I hate them a little less. Well, I hate them less than that. Oh, I guess they're okay. I get along with them, but I don't long, like long-term. You end up getting all these little bubbles. I think it's better to just say, hey, maybe we don't have all the same agreements. Um, but we can't. What we can agree is guys are getting the raw end of the deal out of relationships today and out of society today. I think that's a fair statement to make. I don't think that's being too unfair. And as long as we can keep things reasonable to where we don't, um, like some guys have have gone out and said, uh, literally threatened violence against women. I, I'm not for that. You know, I'm I'm not to that degree. 
But if we can kind of um, understand that the the girl power advocates are also in the same field, where some of them are trying to learn how to trick men out of money. If you haven't seen female dating strategy over on uh, the Reddit forums, go look there. You'll see it all day long. There's women that are just saying, hey, I just want a good guy that, that understands how I think and I understand how he, he thinks and we can make a go of this. There's that end to I want to find out how to date. I want to find out how to take advantage of men and and get the best out of them. That's the, the Reddit group. Uh, then there's others that say, you know what? Um, men should not men should have their power stripped and be taken down a peg because of my patriarchy. And then there's some that are just say like end all men. There's it's a rainbow. Well, it's the same thing here. It's a rainbow. And she's even talking about the rainbow, but then classifies all of them as toxic. And I, I think that's that's incorrect. In the immediate wake of the Also Me movement, which saw millions of um, women worldwide standing up to uh, bad things done by men, there was a swift and severe backlash. Critics claimed the movement was a pitchfork mob, a witch hunt designed to topple men from their jobs and lives without so much as an attempt at due process. This is true. Look at Title IX. Um, look at Title IX um, in colleges. Look at Twitter claims being made against somebody and without even an investigation being done, companies removing the accused from employment. I mean, it is out there. You can't say that it's a witch hunt when it's actually true. Some commentators settled for hounding women who had dared to share their stories or degenerating the movement as a whole, but gradually another response emerged, borrowing its ideology directly from MGTOW, avoiding women at all costs. It's safe. It's just safe. If, if you have a chance to get burned, if you have a chance to get hurt, and you decide, you know, I'm just going to avoid it, whatever, I'm safe that way, then it is what it is. And uh, they go continue on. It started with rumors reporting that men in their offices had suddenly started declining meetings with them or were insisting on leaving a door open when meeting with a woman. A human resource consultant reported executives telling her they would no longer get into an elevator alone with a woman. Suddenly, it began to snowball. Story after story of men abruptly canceling business lunches or avoiding women they had previously mentored. Yep, that's going to happen. When, when the news comes out, and see, they don't talk much about this, but when the news comes out and says, oh, this person and this person and this person and this person, all accused of something. And then six months later, four months later, a year and a half later, oh, th it turns out this story wasn't true. And this story wasn't true. And this story wasn't true. Men aren't stupid. And men see that and they say, mm -mm, I'm not going to get trapped. I'm not going to get caught in that. Um, oh, here's where they met. I guess maybe this is where they met, where it's made it all the way to the White House. The woman shunning uh, has even penetrated as far as the White House, where the Vice President Mike Pence spawned what is now known as the Pence Rule, after he remarked he would never eat a meal alone with a woman who was not his wife. Um, that's not that's not the community making making it to the White House. That is Mike Pence's rule as a Christian and a a believer to not get into a situation where you may be tempted or you may be accused or you may get in trouble. So, nope, has nothing. the two are not tied just because they have the same theme. Uh, they finish off here. Uh, before, long, uh, before long, a book had been published to spread the word as Amazon listing for the Pence Principle by Randall Bentwick puts it, every man in America could stand to learn a lesson or two from our vice president. Be smart, defend yourself, your career, your family, and your life from accusations of women today and in the future. And he put it, false accusation. So uh, this did not go unnoticed in our community, and they throw out a couple more, a few stats. So what is our takeaway? They covered a lot here. Here's the thing. What's What I find interesting is that, you know, I'm not going to shame Laura Bates here for her article. She gets some things wrong, but number one, this is mainstream news. This is getting out to more people about the community. That is a win for the community. Number two, um, they talk about some of the things. Now, yes, there again, there's angry guys about it, and there's guys that are like, I'm just self-preservation. I don't have that much interest anymore. I'm just trying to do what's best for me. I still casually date, or I still don't date, or I short-term date, or I have flings, or I go to see a pro, or what. There's a bunch of different ranges to this. Ranges to this. But what's important and and what's telling about this is that. Um, it's making an impact. And the reason why I know it's making an impact is because after this story was written, I, to find it, I had typed in 
um, the uh, MG, the MGTOW, the rise of a toxic male separatist movement. I typed that in the headlines. It brought me to the Guardian, but it also showed many other uh, journal pages that were also uh, copying the article and and directing it. So. This is people noticing. What does this mean? Well, it means that if executives are not willing to meet with people because they're afraid of accusations, it means that if uh, guys are pulling out of the dating scene and they're saying, you know what, there's not enough in it for me, and I feel that um, that marriage and the laws don't support my views on things, so I'm not going to participate, it's showing. It's making a dent because people are noticing. And, you know, with even, you know, even worldwide out of billions of people, how many people are really in this movement? Maybe not a lot. But when you start, when you start seeing men, especially in the age ranges of 30 to 40, normally I think a guy that might have gotten divorced might come back for a second round, just thinking maybe I just had a bad relationship. Or he might come back a, a second time around and say, you know, I'm going to give this thing a, a, a second shot, uh, shot because I'd like to date. I'd like to um, have a woman in my life. But as they're coming around for that second loop now and they type in one of my video or another video's tags of um, men divorce or men dating or men's health or men's um, philosophy or whatever. And they say, hey, oh, here's an interesting video. Let me watch a couple of these. And then they realize... Oh, it wasn't just me. Lots of men are having problems with divorce. Lots of men are having problems with marriage. Lots of men are getting wrung through the ringer. Hmm, maybe I need to second think about my second, maybe getting married a second time or maybe having that second long-term relationship. That's where things are going. I think also as the very young guys, 18, 19, 20, 21, who are not the, you know, uh, alpha Chad bro dude that has great success in college and is attractive in, in sports and they're not the ones being chased after. In the past, guys still traditionally had a chance at dating women. But now those those girls have the opportunity to be shared by one guy because the guys doesn't the guy doesn't want to be in a long term relationship. He just, you know, goes through women and, and kind of uh, uh, hits it and quits it. And then the guys growing up today are saying, Well, I was never given a chance. I was never really giving a shot at dating. What's going on? And they're checking out this content and they're realizing, Oh, I get it now. I start having an understanding. I'm not in the top 10 or 20%. Maybe this isn't going to work out for me. I need to learn to be happy on my on my own and be a better guy on my own and and be happy for myself and, and life for myself instead of putting all my value and all my hopes and all my dreams and all my self-worth in the quality woman I get. So I call this a win. I think it's a good article. Um, she gets a lot of things wrong, but hey, uh, even if you just shine a flashlight on it and it gets people looking it up, and and they um, get maybe get informed. I don't know. Maybe it's a good thing. Let me know what you guys think. Also, let me know about this four level, uh, four levels of stuff. I've never heard anything about that. So if you guys know something about that, let me know. Uh, guys, if you'd like to support my work, links are below as always. Uh, if you have, thank you very much. And the best way you can support me is like, comment, share, subscribe, and uh, check out my my betterbachelor.locals.com. I'm going to be starting to do a couple unique videos over there, uh, maybe once a week or so for subscribers only when I get time. It'll be coming soon. I don't know how soon. And uh, we'll go from there. Guys, this is Joker. This is Better Bachelor. And uh, remember, um, you know, the more light that gets shined on this, even if it's wrong, at least it gets people looking into it. And the more people that look into it, the more maybe they can find the truth. And the more people that find the truth, maybe they can find out there's a better way to go through life than the way that the NPC media gives it to us. Mm -hmm.